Hey everyone, so I'm finally getting around to doing these nail videos that I promised a long time ago. Today I'm doing the Kiss Lightning Speed Acrylic Dip Kit and I just want to remind everyone that this is a demo of just the kit itself, like first impression kind of thing. So if I don't do something the way you're supposed to do it, I realize that. Just keep that in mind before you go keyboard warrior on me. I'm just going to be following straight out of the instructions, doing exactly what it says. To start, it says protect your furniture surface with several layers of paper towel. Check. And then preparing your nails. Use acetone-based polish remover to clean nails. Trim the length of your natural nail to properly fit artificial nail tip and gently push back your cuticles. Lightly buff the nail surface with the buff block for best adhesion overlay. And then it has a little asterisk. You may also apply to natural nails without tips if you choose. So you don't have to use the nail tips in the kit if you don't want to. So mom, this kit is probably what you were looking for because uh, you can just put the stuff on your nails. And I forgot to do this before I started reading the instructions. I thought it would have a thing. But in the kit, you have the instructions, obviously. Then you have a pink buff block, which in the instructions, for some reason, it says white. Then you have the regular old nail file, soft and rough side, that they always have in their kits. You have the, I forget what they're called, orange sticks? The little wooden cuticle pusher thingy. <laughs> you have the gel activator. This feels so empty. And I'm assuming the spray goes in here because you spray the activator on. You've got brush on gel, the powder, and nail tips. Uh, oh, okay. You have natural and white. I thought there was only white and I was going to be pissed because I like natural nail tips better. Okay, so my nails are all clean and prepped. Now we can move on to the how to apply section. Step one, select the proper sized tip for each finger and set aside in sequence. If needed, file sides of artificial nail for correct fit. I always like to find the pinkies first. Oh my God, none of these look very small. Okay, that one's pretty small. It's still too big though. Now step two, apply brush on gel into the well area of artificial nail tip and press onto natural nail. Hold firmly until set. Be sure there are no visible air pockets in bonding area. If so, remove tip and start over. I like to start with my pinky first and then move to my thumb so I always have my thumbs to work with like pushing and holding on the tips. Now I've got on all of these long ass nail tips and it doesn't say to, but I'm gonna let them sit for like a minute or two just to really be sure that they are glued on because I'm paranoid that when I go to trim and file them, they're just gonna pop right off because it's not glue, it's gel. Anyway, should be fine, but I'm paranoid. So it says step three, trim and file artificial nails to desired length and shape. Lightly file the seam to blend with the natural nail. Okay, so this is the part I'm not looking forward to. They never give you a very good file in these kits, so the filing takes forever. I would recommend getting a better file. Get, just get yourself a nicer, uh, heavier grit. Is that the word, heavier grit? File, so that it, the filing goes a lot faster. Okay, I decided to go for a coffin-ish shape now. I'm gonna use the softer side. This is probably weird, but I like to grip my pinky like this when I file. Now I'm gonna use the softer side to uh, buff the seam, which is what they were talking about, where the nail tip meets your natural nail. Just gently smooth out that surface so that you're, it's a flat, smooth surface to put the acrylic over. 
try not to, when you're doing this, try not to file your natural nail too much. You don't want to thin out your natural nail. Okay, I've got them all filed and I washed my hands again because there was just dust everywhere and then I went over with the nail polish remover one more time. So now, step four, stir the contents of the acrylic dip powder with a manicure stick to loosen the contents. And I have just realized that I will not be able to use this because my nails are so long. There's no way I'd be able to dip my nails in this. So I'm improvising with a glass dish that I used to use as a dappin dish. I'm going to pour it all into that so I can dip my nails in here. If I can even open this. Okay, recommendation. Open all your stuff before you put the nails on. Hopefully, like that doesn't look like nearly enough at all, but we'll see what happens. Uh, maybe I will end up having to shorten these, I don't know. Step five, apply an even layer of brush on gel over entire surface area of each nail. Note, remove any gel that gets on your skin with the manicure stick, and then six, insert your fingernail into the acrylic dip powder shake off the excess. So I'm applying an even layer of gel to each nail and then dipping it into the acrylic, or yeah, the acrylic powder. So I'm gonna start with my pinky layer of gel and I'm trying to see where it's going just to make sure that when the acrylic goes on, I don't have like bald spots. Just insert fingernail into the acrylic dip powder and shake off the excess. Um, okay. It's uh, it's all white. <laughs> Let's just do the next finger. I can already kind of see spots that I didn't get very even, so I'll have to apply the gel better on the next one. Now this is step seven now. One nail at a time, apply a second layer of the gel, wiping the brush onto the paper towel in between each application before placing it back into the bottle. This is to make sure you don't get any acrylic in your gel bottle. Then dip it into the powder and shake off the excess. So now we're doing one nail at a time. I'm going to continue doing one nail at a time and then do my other hand and then I'll be back for the next step. Okay, step eight. Apply another even layer of brush on gel over the entire nail surface of all five fingers, wiping the brush onto the paper towel between each uh, nail, you know, whatever. And then spray all five fingers at once with the activator holding six inches away from your nail. Okay, so applying another layer of gel. I just realized I wasn't wiping off my brush. Great. Okay, now it's time to spray them, and at this point I am regretting doing the other hand already and not putting the spray bottle cap into the activator, but we're gonna be, we're gonna be okay. I don't know how many sprays to do, but I just did a lot. Oh, by the way, it also says make sure your gel bottle is closed when you're doing the spray. Okay, I just read step 10, repeat steps 4 through 9 on the other hand. I wasn't supposed to do the other hand yet. <laughs> One hand at a time. So they're now pretty much done, but now it says to file and shape them again. Nail edges are filed again. Now I'm going to repeat steps 8 and 9 and put on another layer of gel and then spray with the activator. Last step is to buff the entire nail surface 
smooth with the buffing block. And it says for added strength and shine, apply another thin coat of gel to the entire nail surface and let it dry. Do not spray the activator. I'm not gonna do that because I have a feeling the gel will be sticky and I'm okay with the way they're feeling now, so I'm just gonna buff them and be done. Nails are done. It's so much easier to apply these than regular acrylic where you have to actually build the nail. This is just brushing it on like nail polish. And then because it's already kind of smooth because you just brushed it on, it makes buffing so much easier. So usually that takes the longest and that's what makes me not want to do my nails. But this was so fast because just boom, done. And on top of that, this, the activator actually smells good, like, I mean it smells like chemically weirdness obviously, but it smells good, like it smells like florally, I want to say. And they look okay, they look like regular old acrylic nails, I messed up on some, my pinky nail here has some kind of weird marks, and then I did have a bubble or two and I didn't file them down all the way, but that's because I'm getting hungry and I'm being impatient, but overall, freaking fantastic. I wish there was more nail tips because there's not going to be any in here for me to do this again. They're pretty good. They're, they're good. But now I'm going to go back in and use my files and my buffers and get some cuticle oil on because my skin is getting really dry. Previous video will be linked in the description. All my social media will also be linked down in the description. Leave any comments, say hello, give me Halloween ideas or something, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye bye